Welcome back to Vija Academy. In this video, I'll be explaining question number 33 from the sample paper. So the question is like this. So we have to prove that if a line is drawn parallel to one side of a triangle intersecting the other two sides in distinct points, then the other two sides are divided in the same ratio. So this is the Thales theorem or it is called as basic proportionality theorem. So you are, you are supposed to write uh, you are supposed to write the proof of this theorem. So now let us solve, let, let us prove the other part of the question here. So using the above theorem, prove that a line through, prove that a line through the point of intersection of the diagonals of the diagonals and parallel to the base of the trapezium divides the non-parallel sides in the same ratio. So you are supposed to draw a line passing through the point of intersection of the diagonals parallel to the base of the trapezium parallel to the base of the trapezium which divides the non-parallel sides in the same ratio so we are supposed to draw a trapezium first and then we are we have to join the diagonals and then we have to draw a line uh, passing through the point of intersection and parallel to the base of the trapezium so let us draw the diagram so this is the figure uh, where ABCD is a trapezium in which uh, AC and BD intersect each other at, uh, at O. So which is the point of intersection of the diagonals. And then we are supposed to draw the line PQ which is uh, passing through the point of intersection of diagonals and also parallel to the base AB and CD. So now we are supposed to prove that. So we have to write the data that is the given. So in given we can write that ABCD is a trapezium. ABCD is a trapezium. Uh, and AC and BD, AC and BD intersect at O. Intersect at O. Then PQ is drawn. PQ is drawn passing through O, passing through O, which is the point of intersection of the diagonals and parallel to passing through O and parallel to A, B and C, D and parallel to parallel to the parallel sides A, B and C, D parallel to the parallel sides to the to the A, B and C, D. Now we have to prove that we have to prove that this line, the line which is drawn passing through the uh, intercept point of intersection of the diagonals and parallel to the base, which divides the non-parallel sides in the same ratio. So here the non-parallel non sides are uh, BC and AD. So we have to prove that uh, AD and BC is divided or are divided in the same ratio by the line PQ. So we have to prove that DP divided by PA is equal to CQ divided by QB. So now we can uh, we can apply the Thales theorem and then we can prove this. So let us apply the Thales theorem in the triangle ADC first. Look at the triangle ADC. In the triangle ADC, in the triangle ADC, the triangle ADC, uh, we know that PO is uh, parallel to CD. So let us apply the Thales theorem uh, in triangle ADC. So in triangle ADC, we can write that uh, PO is parallel to DC. So we can apply the Thales theorem here. That is DP divided by PA is equal to CO divided by AO. So take this as equation 1 and we have applied the Thales theorem here. Now let me select another triangle in which uh, we have the side uh, CA. Let us take a triangle, another triangle in which the side CA is present. Because in the first equation we got CO by AO. So let us try to get the same ratio that is CO by AO in the second part also. So 
to get this let us take the triangle in which uh, co ca is present so let us take the triangle abc so apply the uh, thales theorem in the triangle abc so in the triangle abc so in the triangle abc uh, qo is parallel to ba we can write that qo is parallel to ba so we can write that in triangle abc in triangle abc QO is parallel to AB. So we can apply the Thales theorem here. So based on which we can write uh, CO uh, or let me write CQ divided by QB is equal to CO divided by OA. So take this as the equation 2 and here we have applied the Thales theorem. Now from the equations 1 and 2 in the equation 1 we got dp divided by pa is equals to co divided by oa in the second equation we are getting cq divided by qb is equal to co divided by oa so in both the equations in these two equations the both rhs the rhs are equal C, co by oa so now we can apply the axiom from axiom we can write that both the lhs are equal so the things equals to equal things are equal to one another so by applying this axiom so we can write from equations 1 and 2 we can write that dp divided by pa is equal to cq divided by qb so this is the proof required please subscribe to my channel thank you